Welcome back to the show and we're really happy to have another Hunter Hole segment requested by you the viewers. We're going to take you back and show you Lynn Hashino's beautiful crystal cupcake. So sit back and enjoy. Hi Lynn, how are you doing? Hi, thanks for having me back. Yeah, thank you for bringing this. It is so cute. It's so cute, yeah. Yeah, it is. Okay, it's little cupcakes made yeah. out of crystal. Yeah, look at that. That On is so sweet. On a bracelet. Sweet. And we also have um, square dells mm -hmm. and sterling silver cubes. Perfect. And then we have a little extender chain, so you don't have to worry about the size of the bracelet if it's too small. Just hook it onto one of the links on the chain mm -hmm. to adjust the, the length. Like really cute. And then we also have one oh. using smaller size crystals. Oh my goodness. It's such a cute project. That is really cute. You can make earrings. You can um, just do one little cupcake, do it for a um, cell phone strap. Oh yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, but is it hard? Cause it's, it's dimensional, so. <laughs> it is a dimensional project. Um, it's actually a little bit easy because it's broken into two pieces. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna show you how to do the cupcake itself first. Oh, great. And what you're gonna need, the cake portion of the cupcake takes 15 of these crystals. And I'm using the um, four millimeter size. Oh, okay. So about a foot in length of monofilament. Okay. And it should be more than enough. I'm using an eight pound test, mm -hmm. which works fine on four millimeter. If you're using a three millimeter bead, then you might wanna go with mm. a three pound test. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna put on five of these crystals onto the line. Okay. And what I'm gonna do is pass or crisscross the lines through the last crystal I add on. Oh, okay. And from this point, I'm gonna be working with Two lines. Two lines. Mm -hmm. Try to make it at, get it to a e two equal lengths. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I have a little. So you have a little round of five crystals. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to be building off of the base of this five bead circle. Okay. On my left line, I'm going to add three crystals. Okay. Crisscrossing through the last one. So I'm going to crisscross the lines. Also, oh, you're making a, another loop. Another loop. Okay. Now the right line. I'm going to pass through the adjacent crystal bead. Right where the loop tied off. Okay. Or crisscrossed off. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to make another little loop. So this time I'm going to add two crystals. Okay. Because you have that one as your one. Mm-hmm crisscrossing through the last one that I added on. Okay. Okay. And I just repeat that. So are we going to have instructions for this? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, we will have okay. um, an instruction So right now, you can sit back and enjoy. Sure. <laughs> and this is um, a really good project because it involves a bunch of different things. You learn crystal weaving. Right. You learn how to do wire wrap. Mm -hmm and you learn how to do crimping for this whole project of the, um, wow. of okay. the bracelet. Now, I'm almost closed off. Mm -hmm. If you notice, there's this little cup right. open right here. There's one little space. So instead of passing through just one on my base, mm -hmm. I'm passing through the last one on my base, then I'm passing through the next crystal up here. So you're going like up, up, like that. Yep. Okay. Like a U, mm -hmm. okay? So I have like a, a little form. This is my cake portion. Okay, so that's the bottom. Mm -hmm. Then all you do is just pass the lines through the five that's up here. Mm -hmm. That's formed from what you just did. Okay. And then you're going to tie off and pass. And this is just to um, secure it more. Secure oh. it more. Make this um, top portion nice and nice and tight. And then all I'm going to do is just a regular square knot. I'm not going to do anything fancy. Okay. Just so you can tie it off. Mm -hmm. Pass it through a couple beads because mm -hmm. I don't want to trim off right next to my knot. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
That was pretty fast making that base. Yeah, not too bad, huh? <laughs> okay. So there's my cake portion. Mm -hmm. And now for the frosting. And this is where you can choose whatever colors whatever you want. Whatever color you flavors. want. <laughs> and these crystals come in so many different colors. And mm -hmm. you know, cupcakes are so popular right now. Yeah, they sure are. They come in all kinds of colors too, so it's really cute. You're gonna need um, 20 of these crystals. And you're using the same four millimeter size? Yep. Okay, so and we're just using bicones, we're not using browns, right? No, just, just bicones. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. that's good. Once again, I'm going to start off with five beads. Uh-huh. Crisscrossing my lines through the last bead that I put on. Okay, so you're making another loopy thing. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to make circles of fives all the way around. Oh, okay. So I'm going to add four crystals onto the left line. Mm-hmm. Crisscrossing my lines through the last one added. And because I'm building off my base, that will make a figure five. Okay? Oh, right. That one from the base is a mm -hmm. five. My right line is mm -hmm. going to go through the adjacent crystal from my base. And now to my left, I add three crystals crisscrossing through the last one added. And I just so keep repeating this. So it's almost like a flower yeah. that you're making. Mm -hmm. Okay, so again, Almost up closed up. Right. So I'm going to pass through the base mm -hmm. and then the side. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to add my last two crystals crisscrossing through the last one. Okay. And that made your top? Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. And then from here, I can just tie off and pass through. So I'm just going to tie off and pass already because. The edge on um, the icing is going to slightly overlap the cake, I so it doesn't see. really need to be that tight. Okay. Trim off the excess, Good. and that's the frosting. Cute. So from this point, you're going to layer everything. So I'm going to take a head pin. Mm -hmm. and take, I'm using a long one, a two-inch head pin. I like to use the longer length. It's easier to work with. Okay. I'm going to um, string on. A little margarita crystal. Okay, that's the ones that look like flowers. Yep, it looks okay. like the margarita flower hole goes right through the center. Okay. Okay, so that's going to give me a nice flat base. Okay. I'm going to put on the cake portion. Okay. Then I'm going to add on one more four millimeter bicone. And this is just to, be, to put a little bit of cushioning under the, um, the icing. And you can either have it the same color as your cake or the same color as your icing. Okay. So the icing goes right on top like that. Oh. And then a four millimeter round for the cherry. Oh. Okay. So we don't have to weave the two pieces together. No. They're going to be just stacked. Yeah, this. it's just stacked up. Now comes the, um, the wire wrap portion. Okay. So I'm going to take my pair of pliers. This is a, um, one side is flat on the inside, the other side is round. Okay. So I don't have to keep switching off my pliers. I'm going to bring my pliers right next to the beads just to have it all nice and flush. Mm -hmm. 90 degree turn. Get my round jaw on top. Mm -hmm. Make a loop. Reposition my pliers, bring the tail all the way over to close the eye, make sure that it's centered. I'm going to cover the eye and wrap, trying to keep my wraps right next to each other. Mm -hmm. After at least two, I usually go three or four depending on how much room there is, mm -hmm. then trim off the tail. Just like that. Now if you trim it off and you still have a little bit sticking out, you can push that down with your right. tip of your pliers. Good. Okay. Now I already started stringing on the crystals. Mm -hmm. So you just pick out a design that you want. So you just have crystals separating the cupcakes. Mm -hmm. Just so that there's space for them to, to move, move in yeah. between. Oh, and this is, is really the end cute. result. That is really cute idea. I know, it's such a, such a cute design. Yeah. Yeah. And I, you, you came up with this, right? Yeah. 
Great. Yeah, Lynn. We so we're going to have the directions at the stores. Okay. And you can just pick it up and learn how to do it. It's really easy. And you don't have to make a bracelet if you want. You can make earrings. Mm -hmm. You can make the cell phone strap. <laughs> yeah. It's a really cute thing. It is. It's a really cute project. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for having yeah, me. Yeah, because I was like, oh, you got to show how to do it. <laughs> Thank you, Lynn. Thank you. Okay. Well, right now, we're going to take a short break and we'll be right back.